I am Mara Duncan Jr. I'm a student taking up radiologic technology. I'm the creator of Ratek and Focus, a place to answer everything you want to know about radiologic technology. So let's get started. So for today's video, we will do a quick review on the radiographic positioning. Also, I'm going to discuss the clinical indication, the technical factors, the patient preparation, the patient port position, the anatomy demonstrated, and last is the technique on how to handle different patients in different scenarios. So let's watch this. <laughs> So for the clinical indication, first is the trapezium fracture, which is actually rare. Second is dislocation, which is actually uncommon. The third is osteoarthritis, particularly the trapezial metacarpal arthritis, or also known as the thumb vase arthritis. This is a reparative joint disease affecting the first carpometacarpal joint, which is located in between the first metacarpal bone and the trapezium. So in between it, 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 it is called the first carpometacarpal joint. With this, there is a surgical procedure wherein the trapezium bone is removed from the hand and replaced it by an implant made up of metal or silicone. This is called trapeziectomy. Trapezium and trapezius looks and sound the same, but unfortunately, they are not. Trapezium is different from trapezius with letter S because trapezium is a bone while trapezius is a muscle located at the back of the neck. Patient history. A 42-year-old Muslim woman who is right-handed, freely movable wrist joint. Chief complaint, pain at the right base of the thumb, suspected to have trapezium fracture, trapezium dislocation, and thumb base osteoarthritis. Radiology request form. Patient name, Ibrahim Narshida. Age, 42 years old. Gender, female. Birthday, April 24, 1979. Date of visit, April 24, 2021. Not pregnant. Examination desired, trapezium PAHL oblique projection, also known as Clemens Nakayama method. Initial clinical impression, thumb base osteoarthritis. Sir, ito po yung request form niya galing kay Doc. As I receive the request form, I will carefully read it and serve it on the hospital database. Since the request form includes a question determining if the female patient is pregnant or not, I will not ask the patient for the last natural period since she answered it already. After encoding, I will prepare all the equipments that are needed for the trapezium Clemens Nakayama method. First is the image receptor or cassette. I will be using an 8 by 10 in inches or 18 by 24 in centimeter cassette lengthwise. Make sure that the cassette is loaded by an exposed film to prevent repetition. Second is the secondary markers. The L and the R represents the left and the right to determine what part or what side is under examined. The arrow for determining the superior and inferior. The X and O for gunshot wound. In this case, I will be using a right secondary marker. Third is a 45-degree translucent wedge foam. 
Its purpose is for support and immobilization. And lastly, gonel shields for patients' radiation protection. Place the equipment near the part examination. Once finished, call the patient to go inside the x-ray room for the procedure. If you are planning to get a job abroad, particularly in Saudi Arabia, United Arab Emirates, Qatar, Kuwait, Oman, which is considered to be an Islamic country, you need to study and understand very well the Islamic law. There is an Islamic law called gender segregation, where it says men are not permitted to touch any part of the body of a woman, whether he is a Muslim or a non-Muslim, except for the husband and the son. Um, meron po akong karelyebo, mamaya po alas 10 ng hapon. Uh, Rad-tag po siya na babae. I-endorse ko na lang po yung case ng kasawa niyo. Alas 3? E galing pa kami sa Buwanga. Anong oras na ngayon? Uuwi pa kami sa Buwanga. Hindi pwede yun. Sige sir, I understand. Uh, ganito na lang po, para makampante po kayo. Sama na lang po kayo sa loob ng x Tapos, i-instruct po po si pasyente kung ano po yung gagawin para po wala pong direct contact mula sa akin. Ah, sige po. Okay po. Sige sir, pasok na po tayo. Sige po. Um, sir, anak na po? Ah, biyanak ko po siya. Magpapacheck up din po kasi hindi na siya lumaki. Ay, ganun po ba sir? Opo. Pasensya na po. Sorry po ma'am ah. Oh, nai, dyan ka muna na ya. Dyan ka muna. Sige, sir ma'am. Pasok na po sa akin. ito yung mga pasyente natin ng lead shielding uh, para sa ganun ay maproteksyon na po sila doon sa radiation kasi may, meron pong effects ang radiation sa katawan natin ang una sa lahat, pamumula ng balat ang alawa ay yung sterility o yung pagkabaog pangatlo, pwede po magka-cancer at ikamatay po pero ito pa thousand of exposure para uh, magkaroon po ng anti reaction O, oh, salamat para sa advice mo ha at least may iwasin pala yung mga cancer Okay, sir. I put my, uh, I take my patient as my family member. Scale natin ng 1 to 10. Yung 10 po yung pinakamasakit, 1 po yung pinakamasakit. Ilan po? Ah, 5. So, yung ginto po yung masakit. Ma'am, pwede po pa suyo. Pakitanggal po natin yung mga alangas at saka yung mga sing-sing dun sa kanang ako. Tapos, pakibigay na lang po tayo yung isto. Ma'am, uh, sindihan niyo po yung gagawin ko. 
Ipitest ko po yung affected side nyo para malaman ko po ma kung ma-achieve po yung posisyon na hinahanap ko po sa X-ray na gagawin ko. Magpamove po yung kamay pa loob o pa kaliwa po. Parang gano'n po. Kaya po? Hindi naman masakit. Sige, magpamove naman po pa kanan o pa labas. Kaya po ma'am? Ma Hindi naman masakit. Hindi naman. Sige ma'am, thank you po. If the patient seated near the edge of the radiographic table, place the hand and the arms in lateral position. Ma'am, pakilog po yung pangin natin sa ganitong position sa ibabaw po ng box na lang siya. Yeah. Thank you ma'am. Place the wrist in the lateral position resting on the ulnar surface over the center of the IR. Place the secondary marker depending on the affected side before placing the translucent foam. Place a 45 degree sponge against the anterior surface overlapping the secondary marker and rotate the hand to come in contact with the sponge. Since the patient able to achieve ulnar and radial deviation, Ask the patient to move her hand away from the middle, particularly ulnar deviation. The central ray is 45 degrees distally to enter the anatomic snuff box of the wrist and pass through the trapezium. The source to image distance is 40 inches or 100 cm. Reference point is the anatomic snuff box or also known as the radial fossa. For the exposure, 50 to 60 kVp and 3 to 5 in MAS. Collimate to the structure needed, 2.5 inch proximal and distal to wrist joint, and 1 inch each sides. Ensure that the secondary marker does not overlap any anatomic part before exposure. Ma'am, panatilihin po natin yung ganyang position. Huwag po natin igagalaw, ha? Sir, uh, asama po kayo sa amin sa, ano, sa likod po ng lead barrier para ma-protection na po kayo sa uh, radiation. Okay? Okay. Huwag po gagalaw. One, two, three. Shoot. Okay na po. Ma'am, since hindi nyo po magalaw yung uh, wrist joint dyan po, imumove po natin pa kaliwa yung kamay. If the patient is unable to comfortably achieve ulnar deviation, align the straight wrist to the IR and rotate the elbow end of the IR and arm 20 degrees away from the central ray. Sige ma'am sir, okay na po. Ma'am, uh, sir, pakitanggal na po yung gonad shield. Ako na po mababalik. Salamat po. Sir, uh, ito po yung request for uh, balik na lang po kayo ng umaga for the result. Huwag niyo po iwawala yan. Sige po, salamat po. Good para kay Gary Hala. Ano nga naman po. Sige. For the evaluation criteria, I include the actual radiograph of the Clemens Nakaya method. The following should be clearly demonstrated. Trapezium projected free of other carpal bones with the exception of the articulation with the scapoid. Alam niyo ba na ang Clemens Nakayama method ay hindi nag-iisang method? 
Ha? Paano yun? Di ko alam eh. Alam ko nag-iisang isang method lang yun eh. Bro, ikaw, alam mo? Oo, bro. Alam ko, isang method lang yun eh. Pinasa ko yung Bontra. Tingnan mo. Double check ko, pre. Oh. Isang Clemens na kaya ma method lang dito eh. Hindi. Ang Clemens na kaya ma method ay binubuo ng dalawang method. Ang unang method ay yung diniscuss ko kanina na PA axial oblique of the trapezium, also known as Clemens na kaya ma method. Ang pangalawa naman ay ang modified axial lateral projection for hip and proximal femur, also known as Clemens na kaya ma method. Clemens na kaya ma method. Bullet of the day. Hmm. Pag-isipan ko. Hmm. Ah. All religions, beliefs, and culture deserve the same amount of respect even if they are different from your own. So that is my bullet for the day. And that's all for today's video. I hope na nag-enjoy at kinapulutan nyo ng aral ang aking video. I dedicate this video to my Lola in heaven. Lola, kapit lang, sabi ni Lashir. Once again, I'm Mauro Duncan Jr. And this is Ratic in Focus, signing off.